your seat for the first reading. We sit so that we hear the first reading. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. Yes, our reading, the first reading this morning is coming from the uh, book of Luke, Luke the, the gospel, gospel according to St. Luke, Luke, chapter 10, 10 verse 38. Luke 10, verse Pardon me on that. The first reading is coming from the book of Job, chapter 13. Sorry for that uh, hiccup. Our first reading comes from the book of John, uh, Job. The book of Job. First reading, Job 13, chapter 13, verse 13 to the end. Job chapter 13, verse 13 to the end. If you are there, we will read. Job chapter 13, verse 13 to the end. Keep silent and let me speak. Then let come to me, what me. Why do I put myself in jeopardy and take my life in my hands? Lord, he shy me, he slay me, yet will I hope in him. I will surely defend my ways to his face. Indeed, this might turn out for my deliverance, for no godless man would dare come before him. Listen carefully to my wants. Let your ears take in what I say. Now that I have prepared my case, I know I will be vindicated. Can anyone bring changes against me? If so, I will be silent and die. Only grant me these two things, O oh God, and then I will not hide from you. Withdraw your hand far from me and stop fighting me with your tellers. Then summon me and I will answer. Or oh, let me speak. And you reply, how many wrongs and sins have I committed? Show me my offense and my sin. Why do you hide your face and I consider me your enemy? Will you comment a weed brown leaf? Will you chase after dry chaff? Or you write down bitter things against me and make me inherit the sins of my youth? You fasten my feet in shackles. You keep close watch on all my paths by putting marks on the soles of my feet. So man wastes away like something rotten, like a garment eaten by moths. Send over our reading. May God be blessed. Thank you. We shall now ask the choir to praise God, the number. Choir Karibuni.
shall now listen to our second reading. Now we have the second reading from the gospel according to Saint Luke chapter 10. And verse 38 to 42. At the home of Martha and Mary. I hope we have seen it. Let us read together. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. And that is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Peter. Well, thank you. We shall now stand. We stand. We stand together with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray as we pray a free sing, and it shall be given. to pray our father in heaven hallowed. hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen we continue show us your mercy O lord O lord guide our president May your ministers serve you faithfully in the valley of the shadow of death like trees planted by the waterside. Send us out as the salt of the earth. May the earth be filled with your glory. Prayer for the day. We continue with the prayers. Today is the seventh Sunday of Pentecost. Seventh Sunday of Pentecost. We pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for Jesus, our Lord and brand of life, who desires of his children to be nourished physically, but more so spiritually, by accepting him as Lord and Savior in their lives. Grant us so to receive Jesus. Be cleansed of all our sins and eternally be faint, never to hunger again. Amen. Amen. We continue. We pray for peace. Almighty and everlasting God, Father of the Prince of Peace, in returning and rest we are saved. In quietness and trust is our strength. Grant us the blessing of making peace and the joy of seeking justice. Take from our souls all strain and stress and let our ordered lives confess the beauty of your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. we pray for grace. Almighty God, you have been our guard through the night. Keep us in your care through the day, walking in the light, bearing witness to your way, seeking first your kingdom and seeing you in everyone. Guide us in the footsteps of your son and lead us on the path to your everlasting day through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Shall continue and pray for the nation ask Lady Damonene to pray for the nation and the church. To pray for the nation. God, our Heavenly Father, you who hear it of your people, this morning we present the land of Kenya before you and ask, O oh Lord, that you may be, uh, remember us at such a time and moment when the cost of living is too high for your people, O Lord. And when there are so many uncertainties, Jehovah Lord, we want to pray that as citizens you will teach us to look up unto you, you who is our help in time of need. We want to thank you because of the leadership and all authority that you have granted in this nation. Praying, mighty Father, that the fear of the Lord may increase in our leaders and the knowledge of you, Lord, will teach them to do that which is right and that which will cause you to bless this nation. 
in a special way we pray for the president and his deputy, the cabinet, the parliament lord and the judiciary and all the county leadership. Jehovah Lord, we want to pray that you move and minister and we will continue to praise you as the land that you have uh, chosen, O Lord, where the altar of the Lord will be lifted to glorify you. We bless you and we honor you. In the same breath, Jehovah Lord, we want to pray for the church, the church that you yourself founded on the rock, Peter, in which you said, Jehovah Lord, that the wells of the enemy will not destroy it. Jehovah Lord, we want to thank you that you have given us a cause to live for and even a hope in future through the church. I want to thank you, King of Glory, that God, we are not living without a faith. We are not living without an altar. We are not living, Lord, without a hope. I want to thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, on whom this church is founded, O Lord. I want to pray for the leadership and especially for this congregation, Lord, and the fellowship of Anglican. Jehovah, Lord, as we remember uh, the, the, the Archbishop, as we remember our Bishop, as we remember the uh, Provost Canon, Jehovah, Lord, we want to remember all the ministers in this uh, parish, O oh God. We want to remember King of Glory, the lay leadership of this church, O oh God. We want to pray, King of glory, that my Father, all those you have bestowed upon uh, the authority and uh, to minister to you, Jehovah Lord, that you will cause us to fear you, that you will cause us to walk in your ways, Jehovah Lord. We want to remember the congregation and the membership of this church who is all doing a lot of work to uh, develop and even to uh, serve in this church, O oh God. We pray, King of glory, that you remember us. Remember all our people wherever they are, O oh Lord. Even those who are following us through uh, the, the online systems, O oh God. We want to pray, King of glory, do not pass us by. And even as we sit at your table this morning, Lord, we want to pray that this is the most high place where we can be. We pray that you do not pass us by. And that, Lord, you will minister to each one of us, even according to our needs, O oh Lord that we do not come out of this altar the same way that we came in King of Glory. Minister to us, we pray. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Take a moment to just bring your needs before the Lord, to pray for those that are sick, and just thank God for everything this morning. Your silence is full, irresistible. Your presence is joy unspeakable. People drifting into mind, we lift to you and pray they find health in sickness, life in deadness, strength in weakness, light in darkness. Their loss you bear mysteriously. Your peace you share eternally. Amen. So we Together, pray the prayer of St. Chrysostom, even as we bring all our united prayers to the Lord this morning. Together, Almighty God, by your grace we have come together this time to bring our united prayers to you. And you have promised by your Son, Jesus Christ, that we are two or three are gathered in his name. He will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. We have come to the end of that first session of worship this morning. And so we invite Canon to continue. Canon. Let's appreciate uh, that first session of, uh, of the service and uh, those who have led us. I want to invite uh, Porikap and uh, children to come and give thanks. Before we pray for the children, uh, nani alienda alipita mtihani mwambia kuje eh, kuja hapa hata wewe kuja na yeye sasa usalimie watu waambie vile ulikuwa umeomba na sasa unataka ku give thanks eh si utatumi mpee pei kijana microphone huyu ndiye anataka ku give thanks lakini ameletwa na baba yake na the brother so Salimie, alafu ambie watu 
why you are giving thanks. Go ahead, tell us your name. Tell us your name. Manuel. Manuel. Charlton. Okay, good morning, Church. My name is Paul Kapmocheche. Uh, my son here, the second born, is Emmanuel Monari. First born, Chelton Mocheche. And uh, Hiram David Abuga. And my wife here, Sarah Kwamboka. Now we are here this morning. This boy was uh, going to attend an interview on Friday at Nyeri Primary. And on Thursday evening, when we were doing our usual prayers in the house before sleeping, he told us that uh, we pray for him so that he passes the test that they were to do. And indeed, uh, he, he passed. He was uh, considered to, to join your primary uh, school. And so we are here to give thanks, not because he passed, but his prayers were answered. Because uh, he, he put God first. And uh, we thought that since he, his prayers were answered, it is better that we also thank God for that. And uh, can we also request you that uh, on, on Tuesday morning we'll be traveling to our rural home, that is Kisi. So please pray for us for Jan Masis also. Thank you for the chance. Emmanuel Monari. Let's appreciate this family as they come to give thanks. Hasa tutapiga magoti hapa. Emmanuel, hapa ndiyo tunapigaiga magoti. Wakati watu wana give thanks. <coughs> let's, let's give thanks. God our Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this family of Body Cup, Mocheche, who come before you, Lord, to show their gratitude, Lord, for answering the prayers that was made on Friday by Emmanuel and the family. Indeed, Lord, it was a wish, it was a prayer, it was a desire, and Father, you, they, they were wise, Lord, and they were faithful to bring it unto you. And that, Lord, you have answered this prayer. This family kneels before you to thank you. May you receive this sacrifice of thanksgiving for the way, Lord, you enabled Emmanuel to overcome and to do that exam well and to pass. I want to pray for this family that, Lord, you bless this young man that even as he joins grade one, the Lord, you shall bless him. The Lord, he shall succeed. The Lord, he shall be able to excel in his exams. And the Lord, in, in even that field of academics, Lord, this young man will be blessed. Commit this family in your hand, Lord, and pray that you continue to see them through. The Lord, you continue to bless these uh, children as they grow up. Bless them, Lord, to uh, mature well, to get to know you, to love you. The Lord, when they will be uh, grown up, they will be people who are responsible. We pray and thank you for the parents that, Lord, they will never lack as they bring up these uh, children, O oh Lord, that, Lord, you shall bless them. We thank you for the ministry that is done in this church by your servant, uh, uh, Polycap, the ministry of ushering ministry, that he has continued to do it uh, faithfully. The Lord, you shall bless that ministry, and the Lord, you shall bless him and the family for that work they are doing for you. You commit them in your hands, Lord, as we remember them on next week, as they are this week on Tuesday, as they travel. Lord, that how we pray that you shall give them journey masses to Kisi. They shall be able to go be with the parents and the relatives and be able to come back. We pray for them, dedicate them in your hands and speak a blessing which addeth no sorrow. It's a humble prayer we make before you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Manuel. Asante sana. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for this offering of thanksgiving that has been offered by your servants. Receive it, Lord, and make them blessed in every way through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Shall we appreciate them as they sit? Asante sana. All children to stand now. Watoto wote to simame to shukuru mungu as we go to Sunday school. Na tupigia hawa makofi mazuri kwa sababu. Leo barini ni nyingi. Na walikubari kukuja kanisa. Asanteni. Wachani tuombe watoto. 
Father, we thank you for all children who have come this morning to this service. We pray for all of them. The Lord, you bless them, even as they attend Sunday school. Bless them, bless their teachers, and bless the places where they shall be today. We pray that every moment spent in those lessons, the Lord, it shall be a moment of fellowship with you. And that one day, Lord, they will be rejuvenated by the word that shall come and that shall go through, through them, your word, O oh God. We thank you for our teachers and the children ministry. We pray that you bless them. Bless these ones, O Lord. Bless their parents. Bless them, Lord, as they be uh, in the short holiday at home this week, Lord, and next week. We pray that you be with, with all children. Protect them, Lord, even for people who are evil, who want to destroy our children. We pray that you protect these and hide them under your wings, O God. We speak a blessing upon them in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tupigia watoto wetu makofi wanapoenda Sunday school. Asante sana. Kalibu Canon Beu utpatia notices. Thank you, Venerable Canon. Good morning, church. Bwana asifiwe. Praise be to God. Okay. Today is uh, she's chile, but we are still there, and we have to be there. Jina langu ni Elastas. Leikano Elastas mila muambeu. I love Christ as my personal savior. I love him. He loves me most. Uh, I want to take this nafasi on behalf of the Archdeacon to welcome you all to this sanctuary, this cathedral St. Peter's. Do we have any visitor? Tunamugani yote. Any visitor? We like visitors. We want to recognize you wherever you are. Any visitor today? Praying with us maybe for the first time, second time? There? Any? Okay. We are all not visitors. So, we welcome you all to ACK St. Peter's Cathedral, Nyeri, especially those visitors, but today is you. I welcome you all. We are requesting to continue encouraging our Christians to keep observing COVID-19 protocols and be safe. Wear your mask properly, sanitize, wash your hands. So you can see at the entrance, we have basins and washing points. You can do that. Mother's Union Taranta Week will commence on 26th July to 31st July and Taranta Sunday. That is the climax will be on 1st August 2021. Today, we have parish council meeting, which will be held after Kigu service. So all members of the parish council uh, should meet, should converge at the boardroom after Kigu service. Confirmation classes will be on every Sunday at 2 p.m. All who wish to join the classes to register and see Reverend Rene Mudoni. Classes start every Saturday at 2. Please register if you have not. Those who wish to be enrolled as Kenya Anglican Men Associate, that is Kama, at the Mother's Union, are requested to register with officials. That is official of the Kama. Classes are ongoing. You are not late. You can register even now so that you'll be prepared and uh, be enrolled by our Lord Bishop. We continue to encourage our Christians to attend our midweek service that is every Wednesday from 5 to 15 p.m. to 6 to 15 p.m. That is one hour service, a full service. Mother's Union School is looking for language teachers who are qualified. That is, you must be registered with TSC. Thank you for worshiping with us. For our matoreo, our offertory is, is as you can see from the notice board. I would request that much as have some letters. We ask us, please, one minute you give, you, Wawidi, Diana, please share this. We give the, the, the owners of those letters as we proceed. Ukitiwa unachukua ama unainua mkono, unaletewa. Please, like moja, we save time. Be loud. Patiwa, mpatiye mic. Ndiyo, are loud enough. Eh? Eh. 
Unainua mkono tu. Atukusiki. Okay, you ingine let us idea how ingine kwa other services. Yes, we, we I request the ushers to have them there because they know most of us. Kiona mutu unapatiwa. Thank you, be blessed. Asante sana. Thank you for uh, thank you, ushers. Uh, we will still continue in it in the other services. So we want to thank God for this why we have come in as a, uh, a Papa Cabro project. And we want to give an offering through the greetings so that we continue on that work. So we want to ask that you have the, the baskets as we also ask the choir to sing as we bring our, uh, our offering. Tuendele kufanya hivo. I'm sure by next Sunday we'll be giving a big, a big uh, report on the way forward. So, tuletenis andakayetu ya kufanya hiyo kazi. Na tuhalakishe kwa sababu ya wakati. Appreciate them, Asante Sana. Mr. Monene, you can introduce yourself. Praise the Lord once more. Good morning. Yes, uh, it's a very chilly morning and uh, a, a cold one and a good one too. And uh, we thank God because, as Canon always says, Nobody invited you to come, but you came. So that you can have a time with God and uh, so that you can do what God wants us to do. So I'm blessed this morning. My name is uh, Monene, as usual. 
and I'm born again. Christ has continued to be my pillar of strength and uh, a very present help in time of need. So, uh, as always, whenever I see you, I'm happy and I feel warm because I know that we are walking this journey together. So God bless you as you continue to uh, serve him in this place. Asante, let's appreciate Mr. Munene. We have uh, Sister Alice, our lady uh, and our charity. But here, Mike and I are same jambo. I decided to sit here, but other than that, we are fine. I had, uh, my husband is not feeling well. He's still not very well, but he is continuing in the Lord. And I know that he will get the total healing uh, by God's time. And so I thank God for this day, for this morning, and I pray that we shall have a blessed week, all of us. Praise the Lord. I'm Julia. I'm saved this morning. And my, I'm telling my soul, praise the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me because it's worthy to be praised. I know we are feeling cold. I want us to chase the cold. So I want us to sing <laughs> that song we stand in turns so that you chase away the cold and we are ready for the word. It is. Praise ye the Lord. And then these ones who stand, hallelujah. Then they sit and then praise ye the Lord. Then hallelujah. And then they will continue. Hallelujah. Then you say, praise ye the Lord, all of us. Is that clear? Okay, let's stand this side first. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray. The Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We shall get it when I also know. Let's sit down. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. And I think we should be having some of those things. One of those days we should have a sports day so that uh, many of us will be able to do those things. Asante sana. I'm well in the Lord. Despite a few, uh, uh, a little cold, but we are praising the Lord as a family. We have seen the Lord, and uh, this morning we want to thank God for His faithfulness and for His mercies. And Phyllis, my wife, is there. He can also say hi. Yes, and you can appreciate her also. <coughs> Our speaker this morning is uh, Mrs. Uh, Grace Gitome. We are grateful that you, uh, you accepted to speak to us. The Lord bless you and will use you as you speak to us. We want to ask that we stand, keep, be upstanding as we praise the Lord, as we usher in the speaker of the word today. Praise and worship. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe, ni salimi hivi kama unaniona. Bwana asifiwe, you look amazing. It's another morning that God has given us. Want to praise the Lord this morning. Bwana asifiwe. The Bible says he inhabit the praises of his people. Praise the Lord. So I would like to, we, we clap our hands and to praise him. Tunamwambia naweza bwana.
Majaribu yaje, vita zije, mti wa yesu watuta ukana Kwa mana msalaba ndiyo asili ya wema Tukawitua mizigo yetu hapo, ndiyo tukaweze kumshukuru Anatuambea kuamba tuitue mizigo yetu kwa ke Tujivike nira yake ambayo ni laini Na tuchukue mizigo yake ambayo ni nyepesi Tunalinua jina lako mfari Just focus on to the Lord Mzigo ulio katika ndani ya kili zako Mzigo ulio ndani ya moyo wako Mzigo katika familia yako Mzigo amba unaona katika kumuabudu mungu katika roho na kweli Tukatue kwake kwa mana endi ya mungu 
anasema ya kwamba anawatafuta watakao mwabudu katika roho na kweli na hao ndio Mungu anawatafuta na wakati ndio huu ambao tukaweze kumwabudu Mungu katika roho na kweli Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Father, we praise you, we worship you because there's none like you, Jehovah. We adore you, Jehovah, this morning and we lift your name on high for who you are and for your greatness, for your love and for your power, oh Jehovah. It's a high time, Jehovah, we like to hear from you, Jehovah, Lord. We pray that you be with us, give us concentration, give us focus, oh God. Tunachana na roho zote ambazo nza kuibia watu akili zao, Jehovah. Wakaweze kuwa kanisa ndani tu ya mwili, Jehovah. Bali roho zao zikombali, akili zao zimerudi nyumbani, Jehovah. Bali tunaomba akili zao, mili zao na roho zao, Jehovah. Zikaweze kukua ndani ya kanisa, tukaweze kusikia kutoka kwa hako mfalme. Tukaweze kuwa pia stuwa siwa sikilizaji wa neno. Pia tukaweze kuwa watendaji wa neno, Jehovah. Ukatupa roho ambayo ni akudisan neno lakini lako Jehovah tukajue neno la kweli na lisilo la kweli mfalme ushaye milele tunaliabudu jina lako tunalitukuza kwa maana unaweza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tutaomba na hata kuamini Thank you we can sit down So praise the Lord Bwana siviwe Praise the Lord Eh, kuna baridi sana. <laughs> Praise the Lord again. Yes, uh, my name is Grace Gitome, and I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. And I'm grateful to what God has done to my life because there was a time I lived in a life of hopelessness, but God found me. He drew me to himself. He made me know him, and now he has made me his own and I have the kingdom. So this is what I treasure most in my life, uh, to have known God, because he has given me a direction in life, and he has given me also life eternal. If I abide in him and walk in his ways, so I have a guarantee that I'm going to live forever uh, with my maker, who is God, the mighty God, and the everlasting God. And now that we've prayed, we just go straight to our reading. And uh, we are going to go to our second reading. It is a reading that we have had uh, for some time. And uh, for a long, long time, maybe we have heard about the story of uh, two sisters, mother and Mary. So it was read to us about a visit, and the Bible says that as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Mother opened her home to him. So there is this radio, this woman, as the Bible uh, calls her, she decides that she is going to open uh, her home to Jesus and the disciples. And maybe when she was opening her home uh, to them so that they can come in, she had a purpose. She didn't just find herself opening you know, her home like that, just coming. There must have been something that she had seen in Jesus and the disciples that made her feel that I am going to open my home you know, to them. And uh, Jesus and the disciples agreed you know, uh, to that kind of a call. So they agreed to get in to that home. And when we look at these people, Jesus and the disciples were visitors. And uh, mother was a host. But mother was not alone because she had her sister Mary with her. And just like a host, you know, when you're hosting people, when people visit your home, there is that which you have to do, something which is called hospitality. If you'd welcome people to your home, or even if you have not invited them, and they just visit your home, they come, and you just look at them like that, they'll feel like they, they are not welcome. So a part of our tradition is that uh, uh, you be hospitable, you offer them something. And this one did happen, that mother extended hospitality to Jesus. 
So she had maybe to get in and do uh, what it takes to host uh, people in your house. So mother extends hospitality to, to Jesus. But the sister Mary, first 39, listens to the teaching of Jesus. Now mother extended, extends her duties of hospitality until she feels that she's already tired. It's like she's working and she's working alone. And she looks at her sister, no, Mary. Mary is not doing anything. She's only seated at the feet of Jesus. And uh, first 40b, the Bible says, mother now starts complaining that Mary has neglected her duty, the duties. She's not helping her. Then first 40 c uh, mother goes ahead and even asks Jesus to instruct Mary to help her. Because she's feeling she's already you no know, tired. And this is what happens even when we host people you know, at our homes. Generally, in the month of December, this is when we host people or we are even hosted. But what happens to the host when you host people? There is a purpose of people coming together. And I believe why families come together, you invite your brothers and sisters and your parents and maybe your other relatives like your cousin. The purpose is boarding, to come together and feel the warmth of having been born into the same family, being members of the same family. But maybe various things have made you to stay apart. So it's a time of boarding. And we know what happens. When you are there, you are the host, you mobilize all your children. And maybe close people, can you come and help me? And we realize that people usually learn how to skelter, trying to put things in order, preparing the meals, the best of the meals that day. So your work is just learning to the kitchen, learning outside, getting water, getting fruits, whatever. And what happens is that we end up having the horse not even feeding. And uh, you know I like response. Is it true or not true? Does it happen like that? That by the end of the day, the host is usually very exhausted, very tired, and it's like, no, you look at it, good. You have fed the, the visitors. But there is something you, you are left yeah, with something instead of the boarding and the joy and the togetherness that you are looking forward to. What you are left with is uh, maybe a burden of feeling so exhausted, feeling tired, looking around and seeing the people who are helping you. And we can spot and say, Kamau and John, they have let us down. Actually, they've let us do all the work. Do we do like that? So we analyze. So the analysis of the day is that some people have really gotten tired. And it's like they don't even enjoy that good meal that was there. Even that sitting together and relaxing does not come in. Because we get engaged. Similarly. This is what happens to mother who has opened her door for Jesus and the disciples to come in. And uh, she comes to a time when she's even complaining that Ma Mary has neglected the duties. And uh, so she even goes to Jesus to tell her, to tell Jesus, sorry, to tell him, instruct my sister, instruct Mary to help me. So the theme for today is this. The only thing necessary. The only one thing. The one thing necessary. The one thing necessary. What is necessary? Jesus said a few things are important, but one thing is necessary. So the response of Jesus in verse 41 and verse 42 Jesus responds to, to mother and says, Mary has chosen the better activity. 
She has chosen the better thing. And if I read, if I read uh, there, uh, mm -hmm. tell her to help me. That is Martha. The lip prayer of Jesus. Martha, Martha. The Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. Only indeed, uh, all indeed, only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will be, it will not be taken away from her. Praise the Lord. Mother, mother, when, when somebody is uh, maybe responding and talking to someone or you are instructing somebody and you call that person twice, John, John, Andrew, Andrew, there is some kind of, there is an expression of something. There is an expression of maybe some kind of you're sympathizing with that person. There's some kind of pity. There is a message that you want to pass so strongly. John, 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 don't you know? You want to draw all the attention. You want this person to realize that this is the message you want to give. This is the important thing. So when you're calling somebody, you know, twice, like Jesus now responds and calls Martha, 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 you are worried about and upset about many things, but a few things are needed, and only one, and Mary has chosen. Mary has chosen the better activity, that which cannot be taken away from her. And what was that? Mary chose boarding with Jesus, listening to the teaching of Jesus. Mother had opened no, her home to Jesus and his disciples, Mother is filled of expectations associated to being a host, but Mary has taken a seat. So Mary no, is listening to Jesus, and now Jesus decides to reserve the highest praise to Mary, who is only seated. She's only seated, she's not cooking, she is not serving the, the, the guests, but she is seated at the feet of Jesus. And when Jesus looks at these two people, he decides to give the highest praise to Mary, who is seated and listening. Mary had made the right choice that would not be taken away uh, from, uh, from her. So from the perspective of Jesus Christ. But from the perspective of men, maybe those who are there, maybe if the disciples would have been asked, they would have said, a mother has done the greatest job of hoisting them and ushering them and doing what it takes. There is, uh, we can uh, have another reverence from the book of uh, Luke 7, verse 36, to 50. There is a Pharisee there who invites Jesus uh, to his house. And while Jesus is there, a sinful woman in that city or in that town hears that Jesus has visited and is in that Pharisee's you no know, house. So this woman, the sinful woman, decides to come with you know, a bottle or a jar of perfume. And what she does is to just go straight to the feet of Jesus. So this woman begins to wet the feet of Jesus with her tears. And then the cleaning them, kissing the, the feet of Jesus. Then after cleaning them with the tears, wiped with her beautiful hair, then after that poured the perfume on Jesus. The Pharisee who had invited 
Jesus was wondering now. And he started looking at Jesus in a different perspective. And what dad? And said, if this man was a prophet, he would have known what kind of woman this one is. The very sinful woman who is now at his feet and trying to cry there and wipe and trying to clean the feet. But Jesus, the reply of Jesus, verse 40 is, Jesus answered Simon. So this Pharisee was Simon. So he gave a scenario of two people, two people who had been led money. And uh, the amount was not the same. One was led a little money, another one was led a lot of money. And it happens that these two people, the one led little and the one led much, they were not able to pay. So what does this man who led them uh, do? So he decided to cancel their debts. So he said, now I've cleared you. You can go. You have no debts. And Jesus asked Simon, who loved more? Who loved the person who had led the more? And the reply was that it was the person who was forgiven a lot, who had a bigger debt, and that debt is cleared. So what is this telling us today? What is the teaching today about Martha and Mary, about the reply of Jesus? that there are many things that we can do. There are many things that are required, but there are those things which are very necessary. The scripture also says that everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. We can do many things, but what is that one thing which is necessary? which is very, very important. We are the believers today. We have been called by Jesus, and we have opened our hearts to Jesus. That is why we are here today, despite the weather. We have come here. Why are we here today, at this time, and when the weather is the way it is? Because there is something that we are looking for, in the house of the Lord. We want to board with our God. We want to know him. We want to know our God. We want to know what does God have for us. So, what does God want of me? And we have come together as, though, as those who have been called we are now a family, the children of God, those who have known Christ as their Lord and Savior. And the Bible says that we neglect not the meeting of believers, but learn to meet together and spare one another as we watch the day of Jesus Christ speeding near. That is the essence of coming together, to get to know our God. But now what is needful? Only one thing is important. What does God require of us? Our devotion today. Where is our devotion and what does God require of us? I just want to read one first. We can go to the book of Micah 6. The book of Micah chapter 6. So Mika chapter 6, Mika chapter 6 verse 8, Mika chapter 6 verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? And I repeat, he has shown you, O oh mortal, what is good? What does 
the Lord require of you. There is a leap right there. To act justly and to laugh mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you there? Are we there? What does God require of us? What does God require of us? Only three things. To act justly. To love mercy. To walk humbly before God. When we do that, all the other things are going to be added to us. We are not going to find it difficult to serve God, to work for God. We have devoted ourselves into many things. We are Christians alike. We love God, but we have burdened ourselves with many things. And these things are very important because we must work for God. But how many times have we burdened ourselves into doing that work and to doing that work until we start looking around in church and we want to see the people who do and the people who do not. And you're feeling like you are tired. You have served in that area. You have served in that department. And you are now feeling tired and you're feeling like other people can do. Why is it that we are getting tired yet we are serving God? We are serving the Lord God and the reward will come from God. But we are feeling tired and we are feeling like others must come on board. And we have started complaining that I am the only one who does. Why can't other people come and do that? Because you, we have forgotten there is only one thing which is needful. That which is important to sit at the feet of Jesus and listen. Board with Jesus. Listen to the instructions. Listen to the message from the Lord. What the Lord requires of you. When you do these things, all the others that goes with it, they are going to come. And you will not find it a burden to do that. You are going to do it with a lot of ease. Because you are not doing that which you are doing for people to see. You are doing it for God to see. And thereafter, the rest is going to follow. Bona si fiwe. The work of the Lord is not bad in some. When we know that we are doing it with God, we are walking humbly with God. We are doing it for God. When you do it for God, God makes it lighter for you. And you know it is not me and the, the other person. Mary should have known it is not Martha and Mary. It was Martha who had opened no, her home for Jesus to come and dine. So that from there she does which is necessary. She listens to the instructions of Jesus and then the work becomes easy. And she finds it you know, to be good. She delays pressure in doing that which she is doing because she knew she, she would have known she was doing it you know, for Jesus. Now, when we know that we are working for God, brethren, we are going to derive pressure in doing the word, the pressure of P-L, not that P-L. Eh? So you are going to derive that happiness, that joy in serving God. When we are singing in the choir, we are not going to look at so and so and so and so. They don't come, they don't practice, I'm always there. You are going to do it with the strength that cometh from God because you know you have chosen to serve God. Singing alone and singing many, you are serving God. Working alone and working in great numbers, you are serving God. And when we work for God and we work without getting tired, others are going to see it and they are going to follow. So even as we serve God, even as we live for God, even as we continue to trust God, let us focus our eyes unto Jesus. Leaving everything else behind and following Jesus, we will be able to stand strong and we are going to be happy people that whatever you do, doing it for God, you are going to do it with all your heart and with all your might 
and you always feel free. You will never feel tired. You will never feel like you are enslaved because you are working for God. You will feel that you have chosen the right thing. So only one thing is necessary. Only one thing is very important. To sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to the instructions of Jesus telling you to love mercy and to walk justly before the Lord. To have justice when we are with others, wherever we are, in our places of work, at our homes, along the streets, wherever we are. Are we walking as if we are at the feet of Jesus? Are we serving as if we are at the feet of Jesus? Are we only serving with the laid down procedures, with the policies that are there for us? But are we serving differently because we know with and without policies, I belong to Jesus. I am a child of God. Whoever has given me this responsibility will give me the power to do it and to do it to the very best for the honor and glory of the mighty God. Let us pray. Loving Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you because of your word. Jehovah King of all glory, you are reminding us that only one thing is needful to sit at the feet of Jesus and even Jehovah God listen to the instruction. Only one thing is important, Jehovah God of all glory, to live justly, to love mercy, and to walk with you. May you help us this day that we will walk with you, Jehovah God. And we know that the land by you is not in vain. And your work is not burdensome because the strength and the power to do comes from you. May you be with us and walk with us and bless us, O Jehovah God. And help us, God, not to lose the focus of eternal life. We bless you and we honor you, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let us appreciate the word of God. We thank God for you, our sister, and for that strong message this morning. Please choose the thing that is necessary. Thank you. God bless you. Our uh, hymn for offertory is on the screen. So let's bring our offertories here in that orderly way, please. Oh, happy day. That is our hymn. Oh, okay. Organ. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. That fits my joy to be my Savior and my God. We can't rejoice.
thank you, Lord, for these gifts that has been given by your people for your work in this church. We thank you, Lord, for their enterprises that are known to you. And the Lord, you have promised that, Lord, when we give generosity, generosity to you, Lord, that you shall open doors of heaven to one's and so God. May you remember all your people this morning and bless them, and that, Lord, they shall live a life that is blessed by you. Sanctify this, and those that are sent through our online uh, pay-bill number, that, Lord, you bless them and keep them well. Those who can't be here, that, Lord, you keep them well and bless them also. If there is somebody who is in our church this morning, they desire to give so much to you, as the word has gone forth, we pray that, Lord, you may remember them and bless them so that they will not feel embarrassed before you and they will be able to give to your work because, Lord, you have blessed them. Bless this is a humble prayer we make before you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's continue in prayer. Our Father, we thank you for your word that has come forth to us. Lord, you remind us that one thing is needed and is required. That, Lord, you desire that we first be with you, that we sit at your feet, that we make fellowship with you, O God. Forgive us, Lord, for at times when we have taken and involved ourselves with other, many other businesses of the church and failed to have fellowship with you. And help us this morning to be like Mary, who chose to be with you, to listen to you, and to listen to your counsel. Indeed, Lord, you are reminding us this morning that when we are instructed by you, we will be able to do the rest. Help us, Lord, to first have that fellowship and a closer relationship with you. That, Lord, we may be counseled by you, we may be taught by you, and we may see ourselves in you, O God. That, Lord, we may be able to do that which you are calling us to do. Bless the speaker of the word this morning and keep her well. The Lord, even as she continues to minister every other day, that Lord, you shall bless her. We commit every need that is in this church in your hand, every person who have come this morning. Father, Lord, we pray that you may remember your people. If there is somebody in our midst and who is seeking that, Lord, you may meet them at the point of their needs, O oh God. You are God of all provision. Provide unto them and seek, see, see them and touch them where they need to be touched, O oh Lord. If there are some who are sick, heal them. If there are some who are discouraged, Lord, I pray that you may lift their hearts, O oh God. If there are families that are ailing, Lord, heal them. If there are people who are seeking, um, the Lord, you may bless their, their work and their businesses, that, Lord, you are able to do that. Bless them, O oh God. As you do that, Lord, remember our nation and the church. <clears throat> and now may the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ fill us with all joy in peace and in believing that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us now and always. Amen. We shall have now the recession of him. We wish you a good week. The Lord bless you. Take care of yourself. Na tunawatakieni baraka ya mungu katika kila jambo. Mungu wa ongoze na walinde. Wale about tumekuja holiday. I can see our young people around. Um, we wish you well. We pray for you. Uh, take care of yourself. It's just a week. Don't lose yourself in that week. And uh, relax so that you be prepared for the other, the other year that is coming. Uh, it's a bit, uh, it's, it's not normal the way we've been doing things. I know next year you'll be joining the next class. And we are praying for you. And those of you who, are, who wish to join Form 1, to now be appear, Mungo Azidi Kwabarik. The recession of him is on the screen. Mr. Monene. Ask me not of great Savior, yeah, my humble
Nah.